We're losing the fight. Crash down. All right, I just, I gotta leave, okay? No, we just started, come on, man. We listen, just, listen, gotta... there's a lot to see in this life. Not wasting it here. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we are going to be getting level 300 without shooting a bullet in Black Ops 4. We're level 299 currently. I think we need around 23K XP uh, remaining or whatever. I have around nine days played. Uh, almost a 2KD, guys. We're creeping up on that 2KD. I got a 1.118 win loss. Uh, and my highest kill streak, as most of you guys know, is a 31. I got that twice. I should have tried hard that last uh, nuclear I got and went past 
a 31 kill streak. But I just, I don't know. I rush stupid shit. That's just how I play. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed those gameplays at the beginning. I still can't believe I lagged out of that one. And then the other one, I was just blaring music and drinking. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't even know how I got on a 27 Let's in that go. game. I kind of rushed at the end of it to see if I could continue the streak. But just it just didn't work, man. But I just, I don't know, dude. I've never lagged out of a game on a 26 streak, even using a gun back in the day. And you know how Connection Interrupted would happen all the time on the old Black Ops games. I just, I don't remember a time where I was on a streak like that and I just lagged out of a game. That that was just ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, there's a few things I do want to talk about in this video. Um, pretty much why I stopped grinding and why I stopped playing as much as I was at the beginning of Black Ops 4. I'm sure a lot of you guys know the major reasons. Um, you know, not having a hater in the game really kills my grind. It killed my grind in World War II when I didn't have, you know, any like advanced UAV, advanced uh, whatever it was called in that game. I didn't really have anything to go for in game besides like, you know, nuclears and stuff. And those just aren't that obtainable when it comes to knifing. Like, obviously you can get nuclears. I've got nuclears. You know, I got V2 rockets in World War II. But a VSAT is like a little extra incentive to keep knifing. It's something that, you know, to let enemies know that you're absolutely shitting on them, you know? And I feel like I just don't have that incentive to knife. And I know I shouldn't say that I need an incentive to, incentive to like, you no, know, do what I do in COD. But, you know, it's just, I don't know, man. I just, I love knifing. Oh my god, this dude's camping his ass off. Hold up. Oh, the three-piece. Oh, that was actually sick. <laughs> he said jeez when I killed him. Uh, but yeah, it's... I kind of need an incentive at this point to knife, you know? I think, that's why I enjoyed Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 so much, and even Black Ops 3, is because I had a hater, I had a VSAT, a Blackbird, to go for in-game. And, and I felt like it was rewarding to knife people and to, you know, absolutely destroy them. And there's another little dirty three-piece, and can we get the quad? And no, we can't. I think I've said it like three or four times at this point, but yeah, that, that incentive just gives me that, you know, that drive to, to keep knifing and just keep stabbing people in Call of Duty, you know? And I just, I feel like I don't have that in this game. All right, so my plans on getting level 1000 without shooting a bullet, um, I, I don't know if I have that mentality, that, you know, that, that mindset to actually achieve that, like I did in Black Ops 3, but I'm sure as hell gonna get at least like, you know, five, five, six hundred by the end of Black Ops 4, 100%, because, you know, as many double XP as they've already had, they're gonna have a ton more. And I'm definitely gonna grind when there's double XP weekends out. Oh my god, I destroyed that guy. But yeah, when I got level 1000 in BO3, it took me two full years to actually achieve that. So it's not like it was something that, you know, took me, like, say, for example, like six to eight months and I was just grinding my ass off. No, I can't play Call of Duty that much at this point. I just, I can't do it. Especially knifing when I don't have any reactive camos, anything cool to actually use in game, and I only have, like, one or two camos that are you know, remotely cool for me to use. It just, I don't know. It just doesn't seem fun to me, you know? Oh my god, he placed a shield down. <laughs> How did I get it? How did I even get that, dude? I just, I don't know. But it is something that I did want to achieve, something that I wanted to do, because uh, I got Master Prestige in Black Ops 2 knifing only, got it in Black Ops 1, got level 1000 in Black Ops 3 knife only. And I wanted to achieve level 1000 again, the max level in Black Ops 4 knife only, but I just, I don't know, man. I guess with not having a hater, not being able to use reactive camos, and overall, I guess it just kind of feels like a chore and not for fun at this point, you know? But yeah, I don't know. We're going to finish out to level 300. Uh, I was expecting to be further along than what I am right now after this first game, but uh, I forgot. It's not double XP anymore, you know? I think I have, what, how many kills this game? 30 kills. Okay, not too bad. Ooh, I hit that. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, that was a crazy Tomahawk kill. I guess it banked off the floor, hit the wall, and then killed the guy. That was actually sick. No. No camping for you, buddy. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Not too bad of a first game on. 36 and 13. I'll take it. But I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about what rank I expect to get, I guess. And that's around, you know, anywhere from, I'd say, 450 to 650, around in there. And I'm not going to be playing this game for two years like I was playing Black Ops 3-4 because I did not like Infinite Warfare at all. And I got a feeling I'm going to like MW4 when it comes out. If MW4 is the game, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows it's going to be the game. But they haven't officially announced it yet. And also, I don't ever want this gaming thing to ever feel like a chore. Once it becomes like, you know, a full-on chore for me, something that, you know, I don't enjoy anymore, I'm probably going to stop doing it. So I don't want to burn myself out on video games to the point to where I don't enjoy them anymore. And I feel like if I knife too much in this game and I grind too much in this game, it's going to start feeling like a chore and it's just not going to be fun for me anymore. And you guys will be able to tell that through videos and stuff. And I don't want that to be a thing, you know? 
I just want to enjoy the game. I want to play. I want to fucking stab the shit out of people and have a great time. Hopefully in MW4 we don't have anything like Seeker Drones. Holy shit. Imagine Seeker Drones in that game. Oh, you stab, buddy. Shane with like a million numbers at the end of your name. Oh my, that could have been sick if I would actually hit that. Oh, and that last one's right over his head. Alright, he's a sniper. He's probably not got the best shot in the world. Snipers aren't super easy to use in this game. <laughs> I just juked the literal shit out of him. He thought I was going to go around. He could get an easy kill on me. You know, shoot me in the back. Nah, that's not the case, buddy. It's definitely not the case. It feels more rewarding when you absolutely outplay somebody than when you just, like, stab somebody in the face when they run around a corner. I don't know. Those type of kills just feel super rewarding to me. Got both of them. Okay, that was a horrible toss. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Establishing UAV overhead. Ooh, that was actually sick. Tomahawk him. Nope, shit, 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 sniper guy. Let me out. Oh my, I'm screwed. I'm literally screwed here. <sighs> why? Why, Bondahar? Why? I know you didn't really make this game, but Bondahar, why? <laughs> why do you put secret drones in here, man? Where they at, though? Oh, one's up top. I'll toss it. Nope, didn't hit anybody. Okay, that's cool. And I'm shock drone. That's for the... Oh my god, dude. <clears throat> I, I hate shock drones, dude. I hate those stupid secret drones, dude. I hate them with the passion. The whole process of ripping it out of your forehead and just yanking it away and throwing it down at the ground is just a pain in the ass. I got you, teammate. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Playing Ring Around the Rosie with them. And my teammate gets a free kill. That's level 300, baby. Let's go. We are a third of the way to something I'm probably not going to get in this game, you know? Wow, you were... Shane, I, I don't even know what to say about that one, buddy. <laughs> That's the best feeling ever. Just completely outplaying somebody like that, man. I like doing that way more than even hitting feeds and stuff. Alright, which one looks the best? Let's see these prestige icons, man. See what they look like, man. Alright, this is Prestige uh, 3 from Black Ops 2. Okay, I like it, I like it. I definitely like having new Prestige uh, icons. What does 3rd Prestige look like from BO1? Eh, doesn't look too bad. Let's see what the BO3 one looks like real quick. Come on, game, stop lagging so bad. I think I like that one the best, to be honest. I think I might like that one the best, dude. Alright, oh well. That's gonna do it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy, man. Um, level 300... Like I said, if it feels like a chore, I'm just going to slow it down, just upload videos, and just have a good time doing that instead of grinding. Uh, whenever I want to grind, whenever I have that mentality back, you know what I'm saying, I'll get back into grinding. So I hope you guys do understand, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.